Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dwarfs, a game that is actually free to play with, you know, additional modes. Anyway, we'll just be jumping into a quick five minute game here to show it off a little bit. Dwarfs is essentially a game all about micromanagement. That's it. Like, you were expecting something else? No, it's all micromanagement. That's literally it. But it's cool. It's definitely cool. So essentially, you've got to try to get as much gold in as little time as possible. And the game seems to be very quiet. So hold on a second here while I turn it away. Oh, wait. Hmm. Options. Sound. Ah, here we go. Beautiful. Apply. Confirm. Anyway, we'll get back into the game here. As you can see, you've pretty much just got an army of small dwarves, just, well, okay, it's not an army quite yet, but you'll see, take my word for it. But yeah, they'll just slowly continue making their way across the world, very slowly, and, you know, continually spawning, and they pretty much get gold, and, you know, there's a huge map. I mean, we're in the five minute mode, so we're not going to get all the way to the edges, but if we manage it well, we might be able to get to around the gold area. Where the hell did I go? Tab. Uh, we're around the middle somewhere. Here we go. So, we are on a time timer here. So, we've essentially got to make our dwarves dig as efficiently as possible and hopefully get as much treasure as possible. And the more treasure we get, well, the better stuff there is. Now, uh, there is enough beer in the town hall to tra train digger dwarves. Yeah, so we just wait, and that's it. Maybe we train an extra warrior dwarf, too. Although, I don't like having warrior dwarfs here, to be completely honest. So, instead, we are going to build a little cannon thing. And we'll build it... We'll wait a bit, I guess. Whoa. Game's been a bit weird right now, but, you know. Oh, crap. Already? Already lava. Okay. This is one of the many environmental hazards of the game. Okay, so we build a bunch of walls here. And then we start to blockade this. So if you hold control, you can spend gold to block up a wall. Okay, you get over to here. We need to make this guy detonate himself. You know, make him go boom, if you will. And now we wait. And we need more gold as well. So essentially what I'm going to do right now... Ah, look, it's a little Reddit symbol. That's cool. Yeah. So lava is going to be continuously burning through these walls. And we will need to get some gold to finish securing, securing said walls. Oh, god damn it, game. You just want to fuck with me at this point. That's it. I swear to god. I don't even want to spend the money to do that. Just build me a dwarf thing here. Can't afford it. Never mind. Dig that ore. Our dwarves will be mostly okay. Hopefully. Uh, anyway, we are going to finish up this area here and seal it off. Which we cannot actually afford to do, unfortunately. But hey, there we go. We've got our warrior dwarves now. They're attacking these guys. They leveled up. They're stronger now. More enemies are going to come out, but it's fine. Because our guys are just going to keep killing them and getting stronger. Lover has burned through a wall. There we go. This will be sealed off in a moment. There we go. And it is sealed. I say there we go a lot. But either way, this is done. The lava will no longer be a problem to our dwarfish people. However, they have now unleashed a flood. So we are going to just build a wall. Unlike lava, water won't, you know, go through um, walls. So you can leave lava water alone for a bit, but you'll need to, like, safeguard it. Because if they dig into one of the sides, well, you're still in a bit of trouble. There's also weird little gimmicky stuff on the ground. Like, you got your little Reddit symbol. You can find little buttons that say, don't push this. You know, little references sometimes. Overall, it's pretty cool. Oh, a dwarf has entered a treasure cave. Another bonus to caves is the fact that sometimes they have treasure in them. Most of the time, they're either bad or empty, though. Seriously. You've got so many more bad caves than you do good caves. You know, we've got enough gold here, so I figure we should probably... Oh, Jesus Christ, dwarf man. Seriously. Holy crap. Okay, which part of this is open still? Oh, am I going to need to blow a hole in this? Son of a bitch. Um... Damn it. Well, you know, we'll just wait. You just go do your stuff, dwarves. If they dig through that, well, we're in trouble. But hey, stuff it, am I right? 
Okay, we will take a uh, little dwarf launcher now. Dwarf has entered another treasure cave. Jesus, man. Oh, wow. Oh, God, no. Okay, so you know what? We're almost done here, so we're just going to let the lava flow. The lava flow is a lot slower than the water, so I doubt it's going to reach our base in that time. Like, essentially, it doesn't even matter. Unless they reach the base, it's not going to do much to you. And seeing as we only have, like, 20 seconds left, I think we're going to be just fine. Although, we're not doing too great on score, I'll be honest here. We've only got, like, you know, 30,000 score, which is pretty abysmal in terms of score. But you know what? This was Dwarves, ladies and gentlemen. This game is free. It comes with additional DLC that you can buy. There's also, you know, just a full pack. I'll show off a bit of the DLC. I don't personally have it. But, you know, I'd definitely consider buying it. I mean, it's a fun game. It's good for killing, you know, five minutes to an hour. Enter name, K-A-Z-Z. -Z. Thank you very much, Lee. And there you go. Now he's giving us a bit of tips. And that's fine. So, we go to main menu. And I will show off some of the little bonus modes that come in the game. You've got a campaign, which comes with challenges. Which I believe you get more if you have the actual game. Um, your scoreboards. You unlock two new arcade modes. Um, you get a tower defense game. You get a... Oh... No, 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 I don't want to buy it, but thank you. You get skirmish modes, like sandbox, rush modes, dark mode, endless mode, and axe throwing. Oh, carnival, which is apparently axe throwing. I don't know. Um, arcade mode, not exciting enough, and dark mode, undiscovered caves are hidden. Uh, rush mode, new dwarves spawn all the time, and you can only let 200 of them die. And sandbox... Play around with the engine however you want. Create caverns that spawn dwarves, minions, or bosses. So you get all three of these for $2.99, which isn't bad. You get endless for a dollar. Most DLC costs, you know, $2. Um, but yeah, that's dwarves, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the game, um, you know, check it out on Steam. It's free. So, you know, you'll be able to tell, check yourself if you like it or not. And there's a little Facebook guy down here. But I don't use Facebook, so... Ha! Suck it, little Facebook guy. You can keep sobbing. So anyway, everybody, thank you all for watching. And until next time...